Well, hello everybody, and thank you for taking this opportunity to watch this short video on how to apply the ARPS add-in tools in the MultiCharts platform. I want to thank the people at AMP Futures for hosting this little presentation. And with that, I'm going to introduce myself. My name is Hawk ARPS. I am the Vice President of Jan ARPS Traders Toolbox, the son of Jan ARPS. And I've been working with my father, Jan, for the last about 15 years on uh, trading and making his tools. And I'd like to show some of them to you now. You're all familiar with the MultiCharts platform. So if you go to the uh, Insert Study tab and go to the Add-ons, you'll see a long list of ARPS tools. There's actually over 50 of them. And I'm not going to be able to show them all to you, but I'm going to show you uh, some of the highlights. And there's one that whether uh, you subscribe to any of these tools or not, everyone should be uh, able to get the ARPS Universal Swing Tool. And I'm going to show you that first, because it's also the foundation of many of the other tools that we use. Um, this tool is basically just a measuring device. It shows uh, a zigzag plot, and it can it'll change color as to whether the... Uh, trend of the zigzag is up or down, and then it, it gives you how many points per swing written above each swing. So you can see this little swing was 8.63 points, and this one was negative 8.77. And then it will show you the ratio of the last two swings. So you can see if you're uh, in longer or shorter pullbacks, uh, obviously the ratio, if it's a shorter pullback, will be less than one. If it's a, a longer trend extension, it'll be greater than one. And then at the end of the chart, you'll see two little dots. Uh, and the dot that is in the direction of the last unconfirmed swing will be the confirmation point for the next swing's confirmation. So you can see we've confirmed a downswing right here, which means we've gone up enough to confirm this as a downswing. So we're in and up, and the next downswing will be confirmed if the price crosses this point right here. Uh, and the high of this upswing is currently right here where this red dot is. So this is a free tool. Everybody's got access to it. And there's one thing I want to show you about this tool, and that is that uh, it's got a sensitivity setting so that you can see uh, different strengths of trend. For instance, if I change that 3 to 5, it'll show larger uh, trends. You can also see there's quite a few options of what you can view and not view. You can show the zigzag, show the reversal points, show the ratios. You can turn them all on or off, which is one of the nice features of the Hawk, of the ARPS tools. Uh, there's a lot of user controls. You can see when I set it to a sensitivity of 5, now it's uh, showing much larger swings with the same type of information, what the, the ratios are and the swing lengths. So everyone's welcome to the free ARPS Universal Swing Tool, and it will help and help you measure the swings of any chart that you're looking at. A lot of other tools here. There's, there's tools that have proprietary analysis and tools that are um, common analysis. So we have tools like bear flags and bull flags, head and shoulders tools, triangles, pennants, uh, wave signals. And uh, I'm not going to go through all of them. I'm just going to show you an example of a couple of these typical price patterns. Uh, here's a bear flag that was identified. It shows you a breakout point. And the nice thing about flag tools is that they give you a target, uh, which is a measured move from the base of the flag. So there's a, a bear flag and a bear flag target here are a couple of bull flags that are identified, and the targets are plotted as soon as the flag breaks out. Um, there's a lot of other common uh, tools in here, uh, common types of analysis, uh, Andrews extensions, and Andrews pitchforks uh, is a common one. It'll identify and draw Andrews pitchforks, the most common one, uh, on, the, on the most recent one right here at the end. So here's your pitchfork, and you can see it's reverting to the mean here, and um, it just identifies it automatically. There are uh, other common types of analysis in here that I would like to show you. One of them, one of my favorites, is uh, the Fibonacci tools. There's automatic uh, fib retracements and extensions. 
for instance, you can ask it this ask it to um, identify the most recent Fibonacci retracements automatically with a sensitivity of three. That sensitivity is based on the zigzag tool, by the way. Well, that one gives you kind of a small uh, set of retracements. So let's try to uh, format it and go to sensitivity of five. Uh, maybe we'll see it a little more clearly. Okay, so you can see Fibonacci retracements from this swing and from this swing. And you can see right now we are in a retracement that's only at this 0.786 um, Fibonacci level. A lot of other indicators in here you have access to if you subscribe to the ARPS tools or if you purchase them. Um, there are uh, Fibonacci channels. There's another common analysis that uh, a lot of people like to use as a uh, form of support and resistance. Uh, there we go, Fibonacci channels. Uh, let's see, you can see how we've drawn uh, the automatic Fibonacci channels on the chart. As I say, there's a lot of, a lot of uh, non-proprietary analysis, and one of my favorites is the uh, automatic linear regression channel, which keeps uh, linear regression channels showing on your chart. Uh, so you can see what the current regression channel is according to the most current swing, where the um, reversion to the mean would be, and it, it just it changes as the price changes. It keeps up with the linear regression. Uh, as I say, there's a lot of a lot of tools to show you, and this is just an example of some of the uh, non-proprietary type of analysis that we have in the MultiCharts platform. We also have, of course, a lot of our own proprietary studies. Uh, Jan was was famed for uh, coming up with some very helpful studies uh, of his own. And I'm going to show you a couple of those now. Uh, one of them, one of his most common and uh, most famous was the ARPS Trender, uh, which is a tool that follows price at just an, far enough away to keep you from, uh, keep you in the trend. So here is the ARPS Trender following the price up when it gets crossed. It follows the price on the other side when it gets crossed, then it follows it up again. You can see here the, the price has crossed it, but it didn't close across it. So you have the option to not have it flip if it doesn't close across the ARPS trender. Uh, this is a very useful and powerful tool. In fact, it's so useful and powerful that we've decided to run it three times on the same chart um, in order to look at the trend in a long-term, short-term, and medium-term type of analysis. So we've created the triple trender, which shows three trenders at the same time, and is a very powerful tool to identify the trend and to keep you in the trend. As you can see, we have a short-term trender, a medium-term trender, and a long-term trender. The long-term trender keeps you in the, in the macro view of the trend, while the short-term trender um, lets you get in and out with each pullback of the long-term trend. Uh, this is one of our, our most popular and powerful trend analysis tools. We also uh, use a tool that is called the Radar 3 Trend Strength Index. And in conjunction with the ARPS Trender, these two tools give a clear identification of when and how to get into a trend. The Trend Index is a histogram that plots uh, above zero when you're in a bullish trend and below zero when you're in a bearish trend. And the pink color identifies weakness or downside movement, and the blue color is upside movement. So it's easy to, to stay on the right side of the trend if you trade with the trend strength index and the trender. I personally look for both of them to be congruent before entering my trades, because I'm a trend trader. I don't like to trade against the, tra the trend. I don't like to trade congestion too much. So I'm looking for the triple trender and the Radar 3 trend index to be in agreement. A couple of our other most important studies include the Radar 1 Fear Greed Index, which is showing us the strength of the buyers and the sellers. Uh, you can see on this crude oil chart from the Fear Greed Index, uh, you can see that 
the sellers, which are represented by the red bars pointing down, get weaker even as the price continues to make lows here, which is showing us a, a good example of a bullish divergence as you see prices making equal lows, but the, the, the sellers are getting weaker. So when it finally turns green, this represents the strength that buyers are stronger than the sellers, and that's when you have confirmation that it's okay to enter the trend, enter the trade to the long side. Uh, so the trend strength is a good help for identifying the trend, and the fear greed is the tool that we use to identify the market sentiment. Now we also have one other very important tool in here, and that is our uh, price leader acceleration oscillator, that's radar two, and this is showing us the acceleration and deceleration of the price movement. Uh, by that, I mean not how fast is price moving, but how fast it's accelerating or decelerating. This is why it's a leading indicator. It's a, it's a two-line indicator. The red line is the fast line, and the green line is, is an average of the red line. So when the red line crosses the green line, that's your entry or exit opportunities. You can see here the red line crosses the green line even before the price moves down, which is why we call the price leader, and it's, that's our entry signal to the downside. Uh, conversely, here to the upside, it gave us our confirmation to buy on this bar right here after this beautiful divergence in the uh, Radar 2 price leader and the Radar 1 fear greed indicator. So Radar 2 is our acceleration oscillator, Radar 1 is our fear greed market sentiment indicator, Radar 3 is trend strength, the triple trender is our trend direction orientation tool. As I say, there's a lot of other tools in here that are that are very helpful, um, and I'm not going to have time to go over all of them. I just want to show you one or two other things uh, for on this chart before going to some of the other interesting things we have. We have a tool called Price Magnets, which are an excellent tool for identifying price targets for your trades. It's easy to figure out where to get in, but sometimes it's hard to figure out what your target is to get out. And so the price magnets are a, a tool that Jan developed that starts plotting above and below the price when it sees an opportunity or a target that it thinks that the price is going to reach. Now, of course, these tools all work on uh, daily and, and intraday charts, so I just have a few of our common tools set up on, on some intraday charts as well. Let me just show you my... Uh, crude oil intraday chart here. It has our, our floor traders pivots on there. It also, this red and, gr and green and white dots are the range finder that shows you each day's expected range. The red is the top of the range. The green is the bottom of the range. Uh, you can see our typical high, mid, and low for the day. Also, plot. all these tools are built into multi-charts. And then there's some other interesting tools that are built into multi-charts that other vendors don't seem to um, have as much interest in, but we're very interested in looking at a lot of symbols at the same time. And so we've created a set of tools that we call the TTB tools. These are tools that are designed for the scanner window to look for trade signals uh, and, and not just indicator numbers, but actual trade signals and how many bars ago certain signals occurred. And that We don't have a lot of signals built into the platform, but of course we have a lot of signals in our own library. If you look at, at uh, the number of ARPS tools here that we have just in the indicators library, uh, there's hundreds of them all giving good signals. Uh, for instance, uh, you could look for signals like the pullback 23 or the trend exhaustion 1, 2, and 3 tools uh, that will show you entry and exit opportunities on the chart. You can see this is an overbought signal here, an oversold signal here, a trend exhaustion 3 signal here, again overbought signal here, trend exhaustion 3 signal here. But how do we know if we're looking at a lot of different s symbols, how do we know uh, which ones are setting up? Well, we've created these TTB tools, which are designed for the scanner, 
and you can see that what it tells us is what the status of all of these different indicators is for all of these different symbols. For instance, the TTB triple trender shows me how many bars ago the short-term trender flipped, how many bars ago the medium-term trender flipped, how many bars ago the long-term trender flipped, and we even combine all of this information to give a, a combined score uh, of the three types of trenders. Uh, you can see how many, this is the trender pullback here, how many, uh, how many bars ago a trender pullback signal occurred, which is when the price pulls back against the trender but didn't close across the trender. So we can perhaps sort on that. You can see that uh, we had one of those on uh, soy meal today. Let's take a look at soy meal. Let's close this one. And um, I don't, there it is right there. There's a, a bullish soy meal trender pullback right there. Um, we have other, other tools here, pullback 23. Let's see, we saw in soybeans, we saw a uh, pullback to the downside. These, these are all color-coded. Red indicates a bearish signal. Green indicates a bullish signal. The next column shows you what the percent change since the signal has been. So you can see the, how effective the signal is. And then you can you can compare signals from trend exhaustion one, trend exhaustion two, even our auto divergence finder. We have an automatic divergence finder uh, that we can apply to the chart, and it shows us divergences uh, in real time. Let's just insert that and see what that looks like. I know I'm running out of time here, uh, but I just wanted to show you a few of our tools built into the multi-charts platform. This one is looking for a divergence from a slow D stochastic. Uh, let's, let's change that 14 to 8. Just make it a little bit faster, slow D, and see if it can find any divergences for us. Well, look, there's a pivot divergence there, a trend divergence there, another pivot divergence for this move down there, trend divergences to the downside here. Of course, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Uh, you, can, you can find out more about all of our tools from our website, which is uh, www.yonarps.com. We have uh, videos that describe how to use all of the tools that are built into the Multicharts platform, uh, showing how to use scan sentry tools, which are the scanner tools, Radar 1, Radar 2, um, and in fact, if you sign up, uh, if you sign up from our website, you can uh, receive the free universal swing tool, uh, updates on the products, ask Jan, and even subscribe to my weekly blog. So I want to thank you for taking a few minutes to learn a little bit about the ARPS tools built into multicharts. And Feel free to contact us, info at yonarps.com, and thank you for your time, and may the trend be with you.